Hey guys, so today I am going to show you part two of my Disney vinyl collection. There's only a few more Disney vinyls on here that I have at the moment, but I thought it would be fun to make it a two part series for you. So if you'd like to see my part two of Disney vinyl collection, then just keep on watching. The first Disney vinyl that I'm going to show you is the Snow White and the Seven Dwarves one. I actually managed to pick this one up at the local charity shop and we managed to get this one for about £3 I think it was, 3 to £5. Um, now again I'm a sucker for charity shops and especially when you can find Disney vinyls in there, I'm all there. The Snow White and the Seven Dwarves one was a lovely one to have as Snow White is the first Disney princess. Not only that, it is really nice to have this in the collection as it does look a little bit more P-loved um, and it does look like it is an old one. On the back of the Snow White vinyl it has little pictures from each of the songs itself um, and I think that's really cute. It actually tells a little bit more around the stories of Walt Disney and um, how Snow White came around. Songs include I'm Wishing one song, Wish Where We Work, Hi Ho, and also Someday My Prince Will Come, which I love. This Disney vinyl, again, I found it at the local charity shop and I really can't complain for a couple of pounds. It was really nice to receive. Again, I've seen this one online um, and I've seen it on eBay and Amazon. So if you are looking for something like it or maybe the exact same one, sometimes you can find it on there for really cheap prices. However, some people do try and chance their luck and get more for it. The second Disney vinyl that I'm going to show you is my Beauty and the Beast one. I actually got this as a present from Grant's uncle for Christmas last year, or the year before, sorry. Um, the nice thing about this is Beauty and the Beast is my favourite Disney film, so it's nice to have. Um, it's also one of these ones that is in the plastic cover and it doesn't have a piece of cardboard that comes along with it. However, it does have the picture on the front and on the back. As you can see, the front has Belle, which is really cute and it's her, her with a rose around it. On the back it has the beast um, and it has the list of the songs on there. I've said that before in my part one of this video but it's nice to actually have the songs on there. The next Disney vinyl that I'm going to talk about is the Aristocats Disney vinyl. Um, this one again is another pre-loved one however it does also tell the story and it has the little story within the middle. Now this one is much pre-loved and unfortunately it has been ripped up by the previous person that had this vinyl. Again this was another one that was around about £5 if even that. Um, and we got it from the local charity shop. Um, I just love this one because it is so colourful and it's really nice, um, especially to have in the collection where it's something a wee bit more different. Um, on the back, it actually has um, more pictures from the actual vinyl, uh, sorry, from the video itself, um, which is really nice to have. It has various different songs like The Aristocats, um, Thomas O'Malley Cat, Everybody Wants to Be a Cat, and She Never Felt Alone. And it also has the reprise of Everybody Wants to Be a Cat, which is nice. Um, I just love this one because I thought it was so different. Um, it is a Disneyland record, which is nice. Um, and from what I've seen online, it looks like this is from around the 1970s, which again is a nice deal to find, um, especially in your local charity shop. Um, I've seen ones like this online, which are priced around about £10. And you can see it on the likes of eBay and Amazon, um, that's where I've seen it online myself. So it's definitely worth your while having a wee look if there's something that you're interested in or you're interested in collecting Disney vinyls. I would say that eBay or Amazon are probably the best ones to find specifically ones that you are looking for. The next and last Disney vinyl that I have in my Disney collection is the Walt Disney's Fantasia Disney vinyl. I absolutely love this one because it is so nice to have. Every time I see it, it always reminds me of Fantasmic. That was the main reason why I got it. It says here, all the music from the original motion picture soundtrack. And that's with the Philadelphia Orchestra. I absolutely love it. Um, in the middle again, this one is so much more nice and cherished because it actually has a picture of Walt Disney in it. Um, and it also has a picture of the composers, as far as I can see. Um, and it also has like Walt Disney's signature and things like that. Um, and it gives you a little program. Sorry, that's so bright. It gives you a little program 
all of the songs that are included in there but I think that's so nice to have um, especially with regards to finding ones like these again it's another steal I did try and have a little look online to see the year that this one was made but I wasn't successful in finding it um, however I thought this was really nice and like I said the main the main reason I got this one is because I love Fantasmic and I just had to have this in the house um, on there it has Mickey in his little robe and in his sorcerer hat and I just love it and I thought it was so nice to have in my collection. I actually managed to get this one for £5 off a vinyl stall and um, the person just had it in with a mix of other different types of music um, and I managed to find it and I thought instantly I need to buy this, something different and I might not ever see it again. Um, which. I found it really hard to find it online but if you do find it online it's nice um, to have in your collection especially if you have started collecting Disney vinyls um, and I'm guessing the places like eBay and also Amazon will probably be able to show you um, ones that are similar or maybe actually this one itself so yeah Okay guys, so that is my Disney vinyl collection so far. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video and maybe you've seen a few vinyls on there that you're maybe interested in purchasing or maybe you just love collecting vinyls and you just wanted to see what's out there, especially when it comes down to Disney vinyls. Um, I'm definitely going to be purchasing a lot more Disney vinyls myself um, and we might even do more in the future. Uh, so if you'd like to comment down below and also subscribe to my channel, you might see more videos like this in future and more Disney related videos itself because I've got a lot more planned. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video and I hope that you maybe found it useful or enjoyed watching it and found it interesting. So if you'd like to see more, subscribe, comment down below and let me know how we've so done. Until next time, have a magical day and I'll see you real soon. Bye!